Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I want to bring to you a video to bring awareness to the disease that Amara was just recently diagnosed with. FIP is a very deadly disease to felines and unfortunately a lot of people do not know that there is a quote unquote cure. Um, the cure is still being tested on, on cats. And there has been hundreds and thousands of cases where cats have survived and have been cured with the FIP deadly disease. So FIP, it comes in two forms, the wet form and the dry form. Um, the one that Amara was diagnosed with is the wet form, which means that she had fluid built up in her belly. Um, this video, I'm going to talk through how I noticed that something was wrong, how she got diagnosed, and the treatment that she's on and her progress thus far. So with Amara, um, just a little background story. She is a rag doll, beautiful as ever, and um, I got her from a breeder. Um, she's a pure breed rag doll, and um, I got her when she was two months old. Got her right before my birthday, and yeah, like I said, she was two months old. When I got her, she had an upper respiratory infection. She had, you know, boogers in her nose, and I believe her eyes were watery, and her third eye, um, which is a little white part, you know, was um, going over her eyes. Not completely, but, you know, you could tell she was sick. So, um, I took her to the vet, and she was put on antibiotics, and, you know, she quickly got rid of the upper respiratory infection. By the way, if you see my camera moving, I'm so sorry. I've been trying to record this video and Spike and Amara are here. As you can see, my video just moved. Um, plane. So, I hope it's not a big distraction. But, um, moving on. Um, Amara, um, when she turned five months, she's six months right now. When she turned five months, um, actually not turned. She was two weeks into being five months old. I started to notice that her belly was um, expanding from the sides and it looked like she had a ball coming out on both sides of her belly. Amara's very little, you know, a five month old cat, they're still very little. And I quickly started noticing that Amara was hiding under the bed, which is something that I've noticed my cats do when they start to not feel well. And um, Amara started doing that and I'm like, that's not normal um at night she would be hiding under the bed and, and go to sleep under the bed whereas she would normally sleep in between me and my fiance or she would sleep on my other my other side um and i started noticing i'm like amara and i was having very sleepless nights um happened for like about two days and i'm like oh my god very you know i was very anxious calling her name and i'm like what's going on and so um i decided to call a vet and I'm very thankful that they were able to get her in so quickly. Um, when she went in, um, they ended up taking blood work. In that blood work, a lot of her levels were all over the place. And they noticed that something was wrong. So with the um, belly being expanded, they had asked me if I wanted to do some x-rays. Um, I had said yes, of course. With the blood work, something that I totally forgot to mention, um, with the blood work, when they came out and they told me the results, they told me that it could be FIP. Um, this part that I'm going to mention, I have been okayed to say so that way I can bring awareness. There is a FIP page. It's called FIP Warriors 5.0. So to those who have FIP or the parents, you know, cat owners, um, with their kittens or cats that have FIP, look into that page. That page, it's a Facebook page. I know it's kind of, you know, weird, but it's an F, a Facebook page that um, is able to accept you if your cat has FIP and they're able to provide you with knowledge and provide you with the treatment um, that you are going to need for FIP. So my vet um, had mentioned to me um, of the treatment and that it's not something that they would highly recommend because there's not a lot of research on it. And so um, when she went back and started to do the extras on Amara, I quickly went online and I started looking up what FIP was. And then I joined or I um, requested to join the Facebook page. And um, it took them about a few minutes to accept me. 
But in that time, I was literally looking up FIP, you know, what I was getting myself into, what Amara was going through body-wise, how was it going to affect her future, so on and so forth. And so I had called my fiance and I told him, oh my God, come over here because he was at home with the kids. And um, luckily, my mom had just gotten off of work and so she took care of the kids. And so my fiance came and, you know, uh, joined me um, at the vet and then the x-rays came back um the vet came outside you know and told me that she had fluid in her um, belly and they wanted to know if i wanted to do a um a stomach tap or a belly tap or something like that and i said of course i said yes and so i'm so sorry if you can hear spike he's playing with a little um ball <laughs> cat ball but anyway so um i told them yes and so um within i I could, I think it was like minutes, probably on, probably like 10, 20 minutes. Um, they came out and they told me that it is textbook FIP, the wet form. I was, I remember how I mentioned that I was looking up what FIP was, trying to educate myself. And I noticed that there was two forms, the dry form and the wet form. To my knowledge with the dry form, um, from what I've looked up, I could be wrong. Um, they start losing sensation in their legs. Um, they become very lethargic. Um, which means that no energy, they don't want to eat, they don't want to drink, nothing. Um, and of course, you know that their body is declining and, you know, if you, ca if you catch it too late, um, you know, the, the possibilities of the treatment working is probably not as high as if you were to catch it early. Um, and so going back to when she was diagnosed, they said that it was textbook. Um, the wet form, it... Um, basically you get fluid in your stomach or you can get fluid in your chest. Um, you know, you can quickly decline. Wet form is, um, much faster at them declining. Sorry, I'm looking at Spike and Amaro. Um, they're much quicker to decline with the wet form, um, which is what I was told days to a month to live. And Amara has, thank God, succeeded over 30 days. She's 36 days as of today. And she's going strong. She's so, 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 so good. And so, um, I know I'm jumping ahead, but, um, with the, the day that it happened, um, they took out 30 mils of fluid, which I was told that that is a lot for a kitten, especially her size and her age to have in her belly. Um, again, they went over, you know, possible uh, putting her down and the F, the FIP Facebook page. And so I was going back and forth in the aisles um, at the, um, the vet and, you know, crying, you know, hysterically. Um, and my fiance was there trying to calm me down. You know, he was obviously thinking about the different possibilities of her, you know, being put to sleep or um starting this treatment and so i had told them you know i want to see amara a lot of thoughts were going through my head and one of those thoughts was that my son is best friends with amara like every time he wakes up he wants to know where amara is every time he goes to bed he wants to know where amara is he gives her kisses um to say good night or good morning and he plays with her he loves her so 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 much and She's the reason why I got um, a cat is because I wanted him to grow up with a cat. Um, the other two cats that I have, they're three years old, but he doesn't pay too much attention to them because I guess they're like adult cats and he's just like mm, too big. And so he has grown such an attachment to Amara. And, you know, the whole time I was having thoughts of, oh my God, what am I going to tell my son? I'm not going to bring her home and he knows that she's at the vet shut the doctors and i was very like my thoughts were all over the face i was very depressed my mind was in not so good places that i want to try to keep pg um but you know it was very hard very 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 hard and so i had told the vet i want to see amara i want to be with amara so they put us in a room and i looked at amara and i could see in her face it was not her time she was not bad she only had 
fluid in her belly you know her belly was expanding but she was eating she was drinking she was active she was playful she was not showing signs of low energy um or not wanting to eat food you know she was great you know a normal kitten and so i looked at my phone and at that moment i had just gotten approved for the fip um facebook page and i quickly got a response and so i decided right then and there my my veterinarian came in and i looked at her and i told her there is no way no how you would have told me about this if you did not believe in it you know again i don't know if she's or he has had um any um personal experience with fip cats that have gone through the treatments it's just word of mouth and hearsay um but i decided to take amara up on that treatment i am a very i'm a person that is very passionate about my cats and if i am able to help them any way possible no matter the amount of money that it may cost to help them fix them i'm gonna do it same thing as i would for my human babies um my son and my daughter the sky's the limit i will do anything for them and i will move heaven on earth on them or for them and so I would feel the do the same for my cats. And so with that being said, you know, that same exact day, you know, we were there from three o'clock up until like five something, almost six with them figuring out what was wrong with her. And so that same day, you know, I started her up on treatments and I'm very, 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 very thankful that I was able to do it that same exact day. Again, Amara wasn't showing signs of um, being lethargic or um, low, low energy or not eating. So I felt like I caught it very, very, very quickly, and which I did. Amara is now 36 days in treatment. She had her 30-day blood work. And all those numbers that I told you that were wrong, you know, there was your white blood cell, uh, red blood cell counts, um all of there was so many um so many labs that they did with the cbc that came out really bad and um you know they were super surprised that amara has made it so far and that she's doing so good and her numbers were normal can you believe that normal the only things that were off was her ggt no idea what that is and the phosphorus no idea what that is but I was told because of the injections that it could um that could be a reason as to why her levels were just slightly elevated it wasn't too elevated that the doctors were concerned about it was more of this medication is acidic and um you know it, it hurts some when they when they get the injections um something that i did put amara on which was suggested um is gabapentin which um it basically um, well, at least in her case, um, it kind of calms her down, which I think is what it's meant to do is calm her down. So that way, when she takes the injections, she's not jumping all over the place and not wanting to stay still. So we can go ahead and inject her. But um, Amara, regardless, she's a very friendly cat, very affectionate um, and loves cuddles, loves giving kisses. And so I didn't think that we were going to have a problem with it. But I noticed the day that we did not give her the gavin pen in girl she was like i ain't having this and she screamed and of course that hurt my heart and i'm like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but um because of the medication being so acidic um it can cause sores on their fur or in this case on her skin because i did shave her on her sides where we um inject her and um you know, she ended up developing two sores that she ended up getting um, a injection antibiotic at the vet um, to help cure her so that we wouldn't get infected at all. And so with that being said, you know, FIP is very scary. There's been a lot of times that, especially in the beginning, that I was very much questioning if she was going to make it, if this was worth it. I mean, I knew it was worth it, but um questioning like oh my god is she am i gonna wake up and she's gonna be gone um i no longer have those thoughts um mostly because i can see that she's doing so well and she has not declined not one bit um i 
honestly can say that she at the beginning was um, very much into wet food at least her kitten wet food and now she's just not so much you know wanting to eat the kitten dry or uh, wet food she will eat the, the kitten dry food and eat the adult wet food i guess because it's more liquidy than the um kitten food but i was told that that's normal with with fip kittens they probably um won't really want to eat the wet food and they go more towards the dry food already depends on your cat but um amara is doing great and i wanted to bring awareness to fip because if i can help at least one person that has a cat that has this and give you guys the motivation and um positivity that this works and you know just keep trying to fight for your cat because hey i know she's gonna be cured the treatment does last um about 84 days um depending on if they have to get spayed or not then they would have to go a little bit longer um just for precautionary measures of course um but i wanted to show you amara because i know in my last video i showed you spike because spike was here and i wanted to show you my little girl so, give me a second. Amara. Can you say hi? Oh, look at that little face. Oh, my goodness. She has blue eyes. Look at Oh, my goodness. My baby. Besito. 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 No, no, besito for mama. Beso. Besito. 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 No besitos. Hmm. Well, this is my little girl. This is her little outfit. Oh, cute! Besito. Besito. Besito for mamá. Besito. Besito for mamá. No me queda besito. Besitico. Besito. Besito. No. No, my little girl. No me queda besito. I love you. I love you, besito. No, no me quiere dar besito. Okay. Normally, if I say besito, she'll go ahead and give me, go, she'll give me besitos. But I guess she is not feeling it today, right now. Um, I guess she's like, Mommy, you've already gone besitos today. No more besitos. Not on camera. Me quiere dar besito. Tú me quieres dar besito. 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 No. She's just looking at me. She's like, no girl. Baby girl. I love you. Well, yeah, guys. That is it for our story time. My little girl. Um, I will be putting our GoFundMe page in the description below. So if you guys can go ahead and please donate. Every dollar counts. Even if you can only donate a dollar, I really appreciate it. For those who have FIP kittens, we all know, or cats, we all know how expensive it is. But if you guys can go ahead and please donate or share our GoFundMe page, I'd really appreciate it. Every little bit counts. Um, we have spent a lot of money on it so far, like I mentioned. Um, that's between the injections, all the supplies that you need to get, which... If you end up having um, a cat with FIP, you'll be informed with everything that you need to buy. And um, not to get into too much details, but, you know, it is a hefty amount. But um, if you have the money and you're able to afford it and provide for your cat, by all means do it. You know, at the end of the day, you're going to feel like I am saving this beautiful creature that God has created. And so with that being said, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye.